two hundred grand delay. Today we're going to take a look at the final resting place of actress Florence Lawrence. She was born in eighteen eighty six uh, as Florence Bridgewood uh, in Ontario, Canada. Uh, eighteen eighty six is not her birth date. She was changing her date, obviously, to appear younger for films. Uh, so that is disputed, but uh, that's what's on her gravestone. She uh, was in over three hundred films in the silent uh, movie era. Um, and was dubbed the uh, first movie star uh, until 2019 when somebody was disputing that there was a French movie star that was before her. But let's just say she was the female first movie star. She was also known as the Biograph Girl because she worked for Biograph Films. So when the talkies came about, uh, she basically, you know, was lost her thunder and, and uh, did not have the celebrity status anymore. Uh, and then when the depression rolled around and when the stock market crashed, she lost all of her money. She owned a cosmetic store, which would be pretty cool if that was the building was still there. I'm not too sure where it is, but she lost that cosmetic store in uh, downtown Los Angeles. And uh, she was married three times, divorced. Uh, but by her 50s, she was kind of a forgotten uh, Hollywood celebrity. And she was uh, living with a roommate in West Hollywood, a guy uh, named Bob, um, who worked for the studios. And so she was kind of destitute. She was uh, very depressed. She had a like a bone marrow disease that was incurable and very painful, and there was no medication for it. So she was in a lot of pain when she committed suicide at the age of 52. Uh, she ate ant paste and cough syrup. And I've seen a couple of actresses that actually, that's the way that they go. They ate ant paste. So it must have been something that they read or something I can't imagine Aunt Pace would be tasting good or not. Uh, she uh, was is uh, interned at Hollywood Forever, which is interesting because her grave was unmarked uh, until 1991 when somebody came along and uh, anonymously paid for her grave marker. Before that, her funeral was paid for by the uh, Motion Picture Fund, uh, which is a uh, fantastic charity for uh, movie stars, uh, anybody in the film industry, basically. Um, and so she is at uh, Hollywood Forever, which I think is a iconic place for the first movie star to be buried. Like, subscribe, tell me who else you want me to see, and I appreciate everybody watching Underground LA.